Hi guys, this is Vineet and in today's video we will talk about how you can uh, view data and log files uh, in a backup set inside SQL Server. So let me, before we proceed ahead I would request you guys to please go ahead and take a minute, uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell notification icon, select all notifications to get all notifications regarding all my future videos uh, please take a minute to subscribe uh, all right uh, before we proceed ahead there are some points to remember i would request you guys to please watch uh, this video till the end to gain better clarity of concept and if possible please watch this video twice and do perform the exercises in your lab environment uh, and not in the production environment and we would like uh, to know uh, what regarding your thoughts uh, about uh, our videos so please share your comments with us now let's come back to the topic uh, which is how to view data and log files in a backup set inside SQL Server all right uh, let me go back to notes so topic is how to view data and log files in a backup set so we will cover two demos uh, one is using the SQL Server Management Studio to perform the same operation uh, to view the data and log files in a backup set and another demo will be done using T-SQL to view the data and log files in a backup set. So let me go to SQL Server Management Studio quickly. So I have connected to my server. We have a backup of Northwind database uh, which is inside this folder. It was taken during one of my earlier videos. Uh, in fact the previous video prior to this one so you can check that video out uh, if you don't know how to take backups so we already have a backup of uh, Northwind database here so let's see how you can view the data and log files inside this backup so what you need to do so after you connect to the proper instance of a SQL server and in the object texture click the server name to expand the server tree so server tree is already expanded Database is already expanded and you need to right click on the database and go to its properties. So here we are taking Northwind as the sample database because we have backup for this database and let's see what's inside the properties dialog box. So in a page pane, this is a page pane and you can select files to see the files inside. Uh, So what are the database files? You can check here. So this database, what are you, Northwind database, what all, what all data files does it contain? You can view it here using SSMS. So under file section, you will see it has three files. So one file is primary file under the primary file group so this is a data file uh, data files usually have MDF extensions so we see here Northwind MDF so this is a data file under the primary file group and we have another data file which is uh, which have extension NDF so Northwind 2.NDF so primary data files have MDF extension the secondary data files have NDF extension so the, and the second file is under the file group B and third one is the log file uh, to which the file group is not applicable so we have, we see this database is holding three files. Now we had taken backup of this database earlier. So let's see if you, let's see how you can view the data file information using the backup. So let's open up a new query. So you need to use the statement restore. We are not doing an actual restore. We are just restoring file list only so it will just show us the file list it will do no sort of restore so type in the database name so we want to restore the file list from the Northwind database backup let's see what it gives to us here we are uh, not even using a backup So we need to specify the backup set. Let's see how we can do that. So 
again uh, use the from this statement let's see if it restored we need to point to the location of the database backup let's see so this is the database location you can specify that here otherwise if you know the name of the backup set then you don't, don't need to specify the from disk option you can just uh, type the from keyword and uh, after that you can type in the backup set name but here we, uh, we want to restore the file list uh, using the backup file name so which is not been back let me copy the file name so put in the file name uh, now let's see whether it restores so execute this statement it does not perform actual restore so we are restoring a file list from disk and we have specified the name of the backup file so it lists us the three files which we have for this database and let's see what all columns we have all right so these are the three files the primary data file the secondary data file and the log file and the file group information displayed here so this is how you can view the file information and the log file information using the backup file so guys we are done with this video i hope you like this video uh, please click on the like button if you really like this video and please subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell notification icon select all notifications to get uh, notifications regarding all my future videos uh, i thank you for your time on this video and you have a wonderful day ahead thank you